Hey, hey, math friends. So our learning target today is I can solve multiple step equations without the distributive property. So we won't have distributive property in our work today. How do we solve multi-step equations um, when there is a variety of things going on in the problem? So we're going to still use the idea of build house, build fence, clean yard, clean yard. Okay, so here we go. We have an equation because you can see that there's an equal sign and we have uh, an expression on the left and expression on the right. So we're going to combine like terms here, which gives us 7n plus 6 equals 20. Now you can build some variable boxes there, but that's not super hard since it's all positive. You know, on the left hand side, we cannot combine 7n and 6. So we're going to build house, build fence, clean yard, clean yard. So we're going to subtract 6, copy paste. If I haven't used it, drag it down, drag it down. So we end up with 14. Now our job is to isolate or solve for the variable n. So you can see that right now we're multiplying by seven there. So the operation would be division, copy, paste, copy, paste. So we get n equals two, n equals two. So if we substitute back in here and here, we'd have Four times two is eight, plus three times two is six, plus six. And the question is, does the left side equal the right side when we plug back in? And we would have that 20 equals 20. So we would say that yes, two is the solution for N. So that's how we would solve using multi-steps. Now you've done a lot of this work before. You've been doing all the little steps here, just kind of combining everything in one place. So next problem here. Left side has to equal the right side, combine like terms. Combining here are x values. If we tug of war this, we end up with three players on team negative, one player on team positive. So the result of that is negative 2x plus 11. Those cannot be com combined because they're not like terms. On the right hand side, we can combine because they're just both numbers. If we tug of war that expression, we have eight on team positive and seven, 27 on team negative, which results in negative 19. They have 19 extra players, negative 19. So we're gonna build house, build fence, clean yard, clean yard. So to clean the yard here, we're gonna subtract 11, copy, paste, copy, paste. If I haven't used it, drag it down, drag it down. And when we tug of war that, we end up with 30 players on team negative. One more step here then. So to get rid of the multiplication, we would divide, copy, paste, copy, paste. So we end up with x is equal to, this is a triangle problem, positive 15. So we would substitute back in to check, of course, is the check step. I'm going to skip that step today because otherwise I think the video is going to be really long. But we should be substituting back in to check. Okay, so same process here, build house, build fence, clean yard, clean yard. We're going to do a couple more practice problems as we go. So make sure you pause the video at any time if I'm going too fast or you need time to solve or practice. So on the left-hand side, the only thing I can combine are these two. Those are just integers. I don't have anything to combine with the negative 5x, so I'm just going to drag it down. And here we have positive 21 minus 6, which would be just simply a positive 15 if we were to tug of war that. If I haven't used it, drag it down, drag it down. Build house, build fence, clean yard, clean yard. So we're going to subtract 15, copy, paste, copy, paste. If I haven't used it, drag it down, drag it down. And we end up with a negative 25 on the right hand side. So all of that results in negative 25. Division by five, negative 5 is the operation because we're trying to get x alone. So we're going to divide by all of that stuff out front. Negative 5 divided by negative 5 is 1, so we get x is equal to positive 5. Of course, plug back in to verify that the solution is positive 5. So at any point, go ahead and pause that video. Watch it again if you're struggling. And let's take a peek at the next problem. So the next problem here, nothing to combine on the right-hand side. We just have negative 10. On the left side, though, we have a 5x combined with a positive 2x would be 7x's. 
And we have a 22 subtract 4. 22 subtract 4 would be positive 18. Now you can set up the tug of war of those, but I didn't think that that was super hard. Um, to, uh, those are some things I was able to do in my head. But you definitely could tug of war those. Build house, build fence, clean yard, clean yard. So if I build house, build fence, clean yard, clean yard, I'm going to subtract 18, copy, paste, copy, paste. If I haven't used it, drag it down, drag it down. We're going to divide here by the number of fronts. Right now, the number of front is just 7, so we're going to divide by 7. Notice I'm not switching the sign there. And we get x is equal to negative 4, negative 4. All right, so we would want to plug back in and check. Remember, that's your responsibility to do that. Again, I'm trying to keep the video short. All right, group, here we go. Two more, and then I'm going to have you try four problems on your own, and then we'll go through those. So here we go. Left side equal to right side. How do we do that? Well, if we think about these, combine like terms, we get five n's. Five n's is equal to negative 35. Pause for a minute, make sure you understand that. If we tug a war that right-hand side, we have 10 players on team positive and 45 players on team negative, is which is why it results in negative 35. The operation here would be division, copy, paste, copy, paste. So we end up getting n is equal to, this is a triangle problem of negative seven. We would substitute back in every single spot there to verify that the solution is negative seven. All right, group, here we go. Build house, build fence, clean yard, clean yard. If we were to tug of war this, I'll go ahead and set that up. We have three players on team negative. We have five players on team positive. That results in a positive two, the variable is W. Positive two W, those are like terms so we can combine. If I haven't used it, drag it down, drag it down. On the right hand side, we have 22 take away 17 is five. Let you catch up on that. Process why I combine certain things. Make sure you like doing like terms. Build house, build fence, clean yard, clean yard. I'm gonna add nine, copy, paste, copy, paste. If I haven't used it, drag it down, drag it down. The next step then, of course, would be division. Get the, rid of the number out front through division. So we end up with W is equal to seven. Substitute back in for the W and verify that that is the correct answer, that the left side equals the right side. Okay, guys. Here we go. I'd like you at this point to pause the video. I want you to do both of these U tries. I want you to show all of your steps and I want you to plug back in and check that that is the correct solution. When you unpause the video, I will have, I will solve so that you're able to check. So go ahead and pause, solve both equations. Okay guys, so you should have had enough time to give those, both of those a shot. On the left hand side, if we were to tug a war this, we end up with three players on team negative and six players on team negative results in nine players on team negative. Variable is H. On the right hand side, we can combine both of those, they're just integers, results in 36. If we tug a war that, we have 49 players on team positive, 13 on team negative is positive 36. And you also know that since elementary school that that would just be positive 36. Next step is to get rid of the negative nine out front. So you do that through division, copy, paste, copy, paste, which results in H is equal to, this is a triangle problem, negative four. You are asked to substitute back in to verify that the left side equals the right side, that negative four is the solution to that equation. Hopefully you are one for one at this point. If you need to rewind, do that. Make sure you're doing what's best for your learning, your future. All right, group, here we go, next problem. If you've not solved this problem, I want you to pause the video, but otherwise we're gonna go for it. Combine like terms here, that becomes positive two X. If I haven't used it, drag it down, drag it down. We're gonna build house, build fence, clean yard, clean yard. So we're gonna add six, copy, paste, copy, paste. If I haven't used it, drag it down, drag it down. 
Now that's a tug of war happening on this side. Tug of war that. Negative 4 is the result. Next step, of course, is to get rid of that multiplication by 2. So I'm going to divide by 2, copy, paste, copy, paste, which results in x is equal to negative 2. x is equal to negative 2. All right, hopefully we are 2 for 2. We are going to move to this next screen. You have two left for today. These are the two. I'd like you to pause the video. Give those a shot. Okay, group, so you should have paused the video. Build house, build fence, clean yard, clean yard. If I tug a war of these problems here, we have seven players on team negative, five on team positive. That results in negative 2m. If I haven't used it, drag it down, drag it down. I almost wrote an addition sign there, so I need to quick erase. The pen's working a little better today, thankfully. Drag it down, drag it down. Right-hand side, we could tug a war that, or from elementary school, you know that that value is 23. Build house, build fence, clean yard, clean yard. We add 11 to clean the yard. Copy, paste, copy, paste. Catch up, catch up. Wow, this pen is amazing today. If I haven't used it, drag it down, drag it down, which results in 24. Next step, get rid of the negative two that sets out front through division, copy, paste, copy, paste, which results in M equals, this is a triangle problem, negative 12. So we believe that the solution to the equation is negative 12. All right, so last problem of the day. If you have not paused the video, I need you to pause it now and go practice this. Do what's best for your learning. Here we go. We end up with 15X, come on like terms. If I haven't used it, drag it down, drag it down. Build house, build fence, clean yard, clean yard. So we end up having, if I haven't used it, drag it down, drag it down. Whoops, that's a zero. So that's 45 with that 20 sitting there. And the last step, of course, is through division. Divide by 15, copy, paste, copy, paste. So we end up with x is equal to 3. So substituting back in. Substitute back in. So that would be 9 plus 36 minus 20. Does that equal 25? Yes, it does. So we know that that is the solution to the equation. So that is our work for today. Um, just make sure that you're always um, plug in. Make sure that you're checking. Plug back in. Make sure <laughs> that the left side, whatever's on the left side, equals the right side when you plug back in. The check is super important. Okay, have a fabulous night. Nice job. Keep working hard. You got this. Nice.